Melissa, you know, we call it a green grass gauge. I have trouble saying that, <laughs> but I think we're going to have to change it to brown grass gauge pretty yeah. soon. Well, the point is to keep your green, your grass green. Man, that's a tongue <laughs> twister. you got to use that green grass gauge. Otherwise, yeah, it'll be brown grass, which uh, I think most of ours are at this point. If you don't have a sprinkler system or you're not diligent, uh, if you don't have a green grass gauge, by the way, you can pick one of those up right here at the KEZI 9 studios. Uh, we'll continue to update to you uh, on what that number is that you need to keep your grass green. High temperatures yesterday, it was warm. 89 degrees was the high here in the southern Willamette Valley. 85 in Corvallis, 92 in Roseburg. Head further south, 99 was the high temperature in Medford. Head east of the Cascades, it was back into the 90s once again, back up to 100 when you get all the way over into Ontario. But we always have that place to go to cool off. Thornton Coast, 72 for the high temperature in North Bend, just 61 yesterday there in Newport. Now this morning, we are waking up to clear skies for the most part. That is, as you head uh, east of the I-5 corridor, head west, and we have a little bit of cloud cover that's starting to make its way in from the coast. That marine layer forming this morning, it's going to block out the sun for a few folks uh, and bring in some cooler temperatures as well. In fact, that cool air already starting to filter in. We're at just 48 degrees right now at the Eugene Airport. 45 uh, is the dew point, so there's enough separation there uh, to not allow too much fog to form. The winds from the north at about 9 miles per hour, full 10 mile visit. Ability. Pleasant morning to get out, do a run, or ride the bike into work this morning. Area of low pressure is starting to sag further to the south. That jet stream starting to take a dip to the south as well. Obviously, it's colder the further north you go. And so some of that cold air is going to start to move down to the south. But also, uh, with low pressure moving in, what that's going to do is it's going to reinforce onshore flow. When our air comes in off from the Pacific, it's typically colder. Uh, it also typically contains more moisture. So it allows that marine layer to form there along the coast. We'll see that combination bring us morning clouds for the next three mornings uh, and so those temperatures will continue to drop all the way to the upper 70s by Friday. And then early next week, we're going to see the exact opposite. High pressure right now is centered over the Four Corners region. And what's going to happen is that southern jet stream will reunite with the northern branch there. Uh, and that's all going to start to push back up across the Pacific Northwest early next week. As it does, it's going to bring the heat with it. It's going to keep uh, any low pressure from sagging down from the north. Uh, we'll get back to sunny skies and another round of warm weather on the way. Again, moving up from the Four Corners region. So for now, uh, enjoy the cool weather while last mid to upper 60s along the coast you'll see those morning clouds still seeing the afternoon sun breaks and uh, winds pretty strong again today and tomorrow as well you'll see those gusts up to about 35 miles per hour you'll drop to 66 degrees there on friday 67 saturday and then early next week again the sunshine returns we'll see that offshore flow which will bring uh, back the sunshine and the high temperatures into the low 70s the umqua basin you're looking at mid 80s for today mostly sunny skies rather comfortable a bit more comfortable than those 90s that you were at here earlier this week. 81 degrees Friday. That's the coolest day this week. Then it's right back into the upper 80s by Sunday and then back into the low 90s here for both Monday and Tuesday. The Cascades continue to be nice and mild in the mid to upper 70s there. The foothills you'll continue to be at about 80 degrees as you head into central Oregon upper 70s and low 80s for you. Sunny and mild conditions continuing uh, and rather pleasant through the weekend with high temperatures in the upper 70s. Uh, but then again early next week. The heat returns and it's back to 90 degrees Tuesday. For the Willamette Valley, we'll see our highs in the low 80s. Again, a few brief morning clouds. The further west you head, the more cloud cover you'll see. But we're all looking at mostly sunny skies for the second half of the day. 79 Friday, the coldest day this week. It's right back into the mid 80s Sunday. And then we're talking upper 80s again early next week. Look at the weather for the weekend. It's good again. You're out